let's start this project if you have installed XAMPP the first step is to start this Apache and MySQL okay inside this I have just started this Apache and MySQL Apache will be acting as a local server for PHP as a PHP is a server side scripting language so we have to start this Apache and it will be acting as a local server to run our PHP scripts then we have to start this MySQL database because inside this project we are going to use MySQL database so I am just starting this one okay both this you have to start okay this is the first step you have to do now the next step is wherever you have installed XAMPP just come to that disk inside this we are having this htdocs folder just click on this and inside this folder itself you have to create your php projects okay this folder is very important whenever we are creating any project in php now here i'll just right click on this i'm just going to create one new folder i'll just give the folder name as registration okay whatever name you want you can give we are not restricted in giving any names okay you can give based on your requirement i'll just click on this now this folder is completely empty now right click on this and open with code okay now first we are going to do the basic setup and in this tutorial we are going to use bootstrap if you want to get started with php without focusing much on css part then you can use css framework that is bootstrap okay it is going to reduce a lot of time we don't have to code a lot using the codes whatever is available to us using the templates whatever it is available inside bootstrap using that we can create this one in this project we are not going to focus much on css part we are going to use bootstrap and i will be telling you how to use bootstrap if you are not aware of bootstrap and if you don't know how to use bootstrap then also no problem we are going to see everything we are not going to skip any of the part and at the end of this project you will be able to make your own registration system you can give whatever you want whatever you want to insert inside the database you can do lot of stuff if you get to know how to do this registration form okay now this vs code editor is open now this entire thing is empty here i am having this welcome screen now here i'll just click on this index.php now inside this before that let me just close this one now inside this i'm just going to write this basic boilerplate of html okay using this emits i have just written this one i'll just change the title i'll just write here registration form i'll save this now i'll just right click on this name i'll copy the file path i'll just come here now inside this new tab i'm just going to paste that one okay whenever we are pasting we have to remove till here till htdocs we have to remove from path and here we just have to write here local host i'll enter now you can see the title has been changed to registration form now inside this body if i just write here h1 i'll be writing here hello i'll save this i'll refresh this one now here i'm having this hello now first we are going to do the basic setup so we are going to link some of the links here now below this title i'll be writing one comment i'll just write here bootstrap css link then again below this i'm just going to write another comment i'll be writing here font awesome link then again below this i'm just going to write here style sheet okay that is nothing but our css part css part also here and there we are going to use but mostly we are going to focus on bootstrap okay css little bit we are going to do for proper alignment for giving proper height and proper width everything we are going to see don't worry if you are not aware of css you can still get started with this project and this project will be for beginner level as well as for intermediate level now here you just have to write here bootstrap i'll just click on this first link okay whatever latest version it is having it is going to open that one okay now you can see the latest version is 5.1.3 i'll just click on get started now from here i'm just going to copy this css link okay here we are having css here we are having javascript as of now we are not going to use javascript i am just going to copy this css link and below this comment i'm just going to paste that one then next we have to copy this font awesome link i'll just come here i'll just search for font awesome cdn you have to write this font awesome cdn once we click on this just scroll down and here we are having this font awesome library cdn okay you just have to click on this first link and from here we are just going to copy min.css link 
okay this is for icons because in this project we are using some of the icons here you can see whenever i click on sign up i'm having some icons here and when i click on this sign in i'm having some icons here so to use this one to use this icons we are just linking this font awesome from here we just have to copy this one all dot min dot css okay you don't have to focus on this links you just have to copy this first link i'll just click on this code here i'll be having copy link tag i'll just click on this and this entire link is copied i'll come here i'll paste that one now without refreshing you can see this is the font family whatever i am having now as soon as i refresh this one you can see this is the font family from the bootstrap okay inside bootstrap whenever we are using bootstrap each and every element has its own default font family so here bootstrap whatever font family is available inside bootstrap that is been applied here okay now we are done with this now inside this root i'm just going to write here style.css now here i am having this comment i am just going to link css file i'll just write here link colon css as soon as i write this one here i am having two attributes first is relation attribute let me just increase the size you can see first is the relation attribute inside that we are having the style sheet value then inside href we just have to pass this path okay wherever we are having style sheet we just have to pass that one if you want to create this style sheet inside separate folder then also you can do that one whenever we are creating larger projects then we are going to create folder and inside that folder itself we are going to create file so here i'll be creating css folder inside this i'm just going to move this style sheet i'll just click on move now inside this css folder i'm having this style sheet now whenever i am linking this one i have to write css path slash then i'm just going to write his style sheet okay this is how it is going to work let me just decrease this now to close this left panel you if you just click on control b the panel will be closed okay now we have just written this basic boilerplate of html we have linked bootstrap css link font awesome link and this style sheet we have done this basic setup next we are going to create sign up page and we will do some stylings for this we are just going to create the basic layout of that once we are ready with this layout then we are going to start with databases and tables